after months of us seeing the Supreme Ramelzi dunks online, it's about time they release for Supreme Week 2. What's good, family? Today we're gonna go over Supreme Week 2 drop list. There's a couple items on here that are actually good. The rest is boo-boo, and we're gonna talk about the whole drop. Promise to y'all, if Supreme is good or if I like Supreme pieces that are dropping during the week, I'm actually gonna talk about it for y'all. Here we are, fulfilling our promise. I don't know if next week I'll be able to do it simply because I'm gonna be on vacation, so disregard. Still gonna have videos loaded up for next week. I won't be able to do a drop list. It just is what it is. If y'all end up enjoying this video leave a like on it down below subscribe to the channel more early sneakers on the way low key i dropped the early review for the palominos if y'all want to check that out after this video don't forget to join the giveaway for the jordan one low black toes click the link at the top of the description all you have to do is leave a like on this video subscribe to the channel and follow one dot nori on instagram make sure you dm me proof winner will be able to pick their size all that being said let's get into this week's drop list for week two there's the ramelzi dunks coming out we also have a bunch of other stuff that's hit or miss and we're gonna discuss everything in this video make sure y'all leave a like on this one bro we're gonna start at the bottom of the list with the dookie pieces and work our way up to the top all the way at the bottom we got the crackle sweat shorts these are coming in three different colorways it almost looks like the jordan one lost and found material on these pants it doesn't look too bad in this creamish color tree trunk type of vibe let me know if y'all messing with this pair almost looks like an ashy ass pair of shorts it's at the bottom for a reason and 188 is crazy for a pair of shorts though second we got the logo piping track pants i'm not even gonna open these up these come in three different colorways supreme at the top colors are just mediocre i don't find the necessity for these pants hand style six panel y'all know me with graffiti i'm a sucker for it if this would have been a fitted honestly it would have been a piece that i would consider going for i don't remember the last time i bought a snapback bro like i'm not buying a supreme snapback hand style hat it's staying right there buddy then embroidered loose fit pants these are actually pretty cool in this black with the white stitching that would be hard with the travis scott black phantoms cool little fit but what other sneakers would i wear this with that's what i have an issue with we got the beef and brock colorway we straight on 178 though double knee painter pants bro what in the michael jackson is going on right here these shits is crazy son let me know if you cop in the leather pants they took it's about to be fall way too serious like i'm never wearing full leather pants bro it's just not happening i don't even know what words to come up with for y'all bro these shits is crazy dragon beanie four different colorways i don't think this is horrible do i need it no it's giving me ed hardy vibes to be honest crackle zip up sweater i'm trying to like this like i'm dead ass trying to like this but i don't but i do but i don't but i do a little bit but i really don't this color is the only one it's giving me some type of some i just don't know what it is i wouldn't pick that up for 228 though that shit just don't make no sense we got the leather shirt if you pull up rocking the leather shirt with the leather pants i commend you my brother you need a fan bro matter of fact you need some ice cubes going down your back like you're gonna be way too hot for comfort in this shit tan colorway is giving off p diddy in the 90s vibes touching boys and shit like i don't even know what's going on bro we go with that shit we got the denim embroidered jacket this one with the white stitching actually not terrible 228 it's all right for me it's all right. this woven leather varsity jacket where are you going with all this leather somebody please inform me what what leather party y'all going to? This shit look crazy, bro. It look like one of those backyard chairs that get rusty after a while. This is one of those, bro. Like, I don't understand who's paying $800 for this pre-tax. Like, y'all really bugging, bro. And somebody gonna buy this. One of y'all in the comments right now probably like this shit. Let me know if y'all freaking with this one, bro. You got the Bumblebee colors, too. Overprint knockout short sleeve top. This one comes in four different colorways. I actually kind of like this one. It almost has like a vintage sun wash effect to it i love the fact that even though it has supreme on it it's almost not even noticeable like i gotta sit here and really try to read it to read it type shit this is a clean piece especially in this baby blue color almost like a sun faded baby blue black one is clean as well let me know if y'all copping this i honestly feel like that 88 dollar retail destroys a piece like this there's the logo piping hooded track jacket this is another one of those unnecessary pieces i feel like you could just pull up to the thrift store get some shit similar to this flight. 
$5. So I don't see the necessity to have a Supreme version of it. Chest stripe sweater. This one comes in four different colorways. Is a knitted piece. So I do appreciate that. If I was to pick up any of these, it'll probably just be the navy or the gray. But let's be real. I'm not buying none of these shits at all. We pretty much zoomed through the dookie and we made it to the top eight items, which is 80% solid. I feel like anything on this top eight wouldn't be a bad cop. You feel me? If you're buying a conga, you out here like Andre 3 thousand with the flute and the conga vibes i feel it just know that this is how much money you dishing out for it but we'll get there when we get there first piece is the sleeve arc hooded sweatshirt brown color this one right here that one is sexy i honestly love the tone I don't know how to respond to that just shut your ass up how about that bro she be trying to talk to y'all like i don't know why this is the second video she trying to chat with y'all giving me essentials vibes with the color earth tones we about to be in fall type shit so this is the perfect color i don't own too many sweatshirts in this colorway so i could appreciate it more than the others baby blue reminds me of the ice blue box logo from 2017 these are clean bro it's fire waxed cotton camp cap this one comes in four different colorways if i was to pick this one up it would honestly just be in this overwashed gray color i love hats in this color they don't normally make them and if i drop a hat for nori one day it definitely will be in an overwashed gray i just love that aesthetic it's like a vintage hat we don't normally see it on hats we see it on tees all the time the hats don't normally get that color so i appreciate it way more overwash gray or nothing for me retail is 48 dollars as well which isn't too steep that's not bad we got the old english short sleeve top i love old english font that's like right up my alley bro and this washed black color is beautiful this is almost giving me chrome hearts vibes let me know if i'm tripping i feel like this is one of those pieces that i wouldn't mind paying that extra price for simply because the supreme is embroidered on this one so it'll last way longer than any of the printed tees this one's hard bro if i were to pick this up it would honestly just be in that black color 78 isn't even terrible because once again like i said it is embroidered we do got the percussion conga are y'all picking this up 900 dollars? are you gonna have this sitting on the side of your room i honestly want to know i feel like if i had a bigger room to display all my stuff i would be buying more accessories whether it's from murakami cause this conga which i probably would never buy but in general i would be more in inclined to buying accessories if I had more space to display them. The way my situation is set up right now though, bro, if I buy something, it's gonna go into the middle of this room because I literally have nowhere to put nothing right now. Like it's just a bad look. One of those items where Supreme goes out of their way to make something different, I could appreciate it. If you're not playing the conga already, you don't need a designer conga. That's just not the way we roll in. This is cool though, definitely solid. $900 solid, I don't know about that one. Glitter bowl, I'm assuming this is for ramen. Eat some ramen vibes red color and you also have that silver metallic gold box logo little cereal bowl 44 dollars for this bowl ain't too bad let me know if y'all gonna be picking this one up if retail would have been anything over that shit would have been a dub championships embroidered football jersey this one comes in four different colorways you got the green red baby blue on this khaki-ish goldish color which is probably one of my favorites black with the yellow let me know which is your favorite in the comments i think these are solid don't know how i feel about jerseys that have v-necks though i just don't like v-necks bro v-necks are one of my worst enemies white tees and v-necks bro like a white v-neck is equivalent to a black air force one in my eyes it just doesn't work as smoothly as you picture it in your head bro like who needs a shirt that goes like this like come on bro do better for real do better do better and come talk to me afterwards bro we got the ramelzi pies which is really what i'm here for bro these dunks a work of art, Papa. This is what we need right here. Supreme need to stop with the bullshit and drop shit like this right here, bro. This is what I've been waiting for. I'm pretty sure you watching this video, this is what you've been waiting for too, bro. I understand. I feel your pain. These shits is sexy. Like, I need them. I would honestly take either colorway or both, bro. Like, I'm low-key gonna see if my girl could help me pick up a pair of these so I could go for the opposite color. And if I get both, I'm doing a review on both, buddy, because these are hard body. I'm low-key trying to decide whether I want want the highs or the lows if this colorway would have been on the lows this light tannish color it would have been better than the ones they're dropping on the low version maybe i'm tripping these holes is sexy i love the highs they're so hard but like this is a print that reminds me of dunks that they did back in the day i'm talking about the sixty thousand dollar dunks that we see nowadays like these paris dunks the frituras all those og dunks that honestly built that craze for this model that's what i see in 
in this pair right here. So I'm super excited, bro. I feel like people that don't even buy Supreme no more about to pop their heads out looking for these. I'm not even gonna lie. Those are hard body. Also do have the black pair, which <laughs> equally fire, bro. I don't know what direction I'm taking it this week. I wouldn't mind getting either or. Like I said, hopefully Shorty can help me scoop up the opposite colorway. So if I get both of these shits, bro, I'm probably gonna beat my meat in the sheets before going out in these streets to make the money to buy this heat. I'm not even gonna lie, but these bitches is hard. Let me know if you're picking up the Ramelzi dunks this week. We low key seen these leak for a minute at this point, probably like half a year. The fact that they're finally dropping them, I feel like the hype is still there. I just need them in my collection, bro. Lows are gonna be $138 and the highs are gonna be $148. It's respectable, you feel me? I love both of these. I honestly do wanna have the set, but it all depends on what they're gonna go for afterwards in the resale market and how easy they're gonna be to pick up. This pair is actually gonna be fairly hard to grab. We saw the Yuto Horigame Dunks drop today, and this is one of those pairs that I'm gonna need in my collection, mandatory. I took an L today. This is one of the ones that I'm gonna definitely have to go back for. I'm honestly waiting to see if the prices are gonna dip a little bit. If they don't, I'm gonna have to bite the bullet. This is one of my favorite SBs, probably in the past four to five years. I love that blue they used, tone of gray on the swoosh, the brown, the cream midsole, the hit of pink on the back. Everything on this dunk is what I'm looking for in a dunk. I don't honestly own many, but this is one that I'm gonna have to go for. It's giving me vintage Stussy vibes. Beautiful shoe. I love what Yuto did on this pair. Let me know if y'all agree. I'm gonna need these holes. Mandatory cop for me. I'm just waiting to see what's going on with the price. Right now, they're going up. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I have hope that once retail pairs hit, people are gonna start undercutting and the prices are gonna start to dwindle a little bit before they go higher. Hopefully, that's the case. If not, I'm gonna have to bite the bullet. This might be an unpopular opinion, but this pair is better than the Supreme Dunks. It's better than the Harito Dunks. It might not be better than the Born and Raised, but it's really neck and neck. I love this tone of blue, bro. I need these. I'm not gonna lie. With the brown, bro, I need these. This video is about the Ramelzi, so we're gonna keep it where we at with it. I love these as well. We're gonna try to go for them. I wish y'all the best of luck. Hopefully, I am able to do a live cop. If I'm not, I apologize. I'll keep y'all posted nonetheless. Make sure y'all subscribe. Let me know what other type of content y'all would like to see on the channel. And don't forget, we're doing a giveaway on the Jordan 1 Low Black Toes. All you have to do is click the link at the top of the description. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel. Follow 1.Norian. DM me proof. That way you're able to pick a size for a pair of Jordan 1 Low Black Toes in the middle of next month. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Thank you for coming through to the video and showing love. Definitely means more than you would ever imagine. I hope you have a great rest of your day, morning, and night whenever you're watching. Also, good luck on buying these dunks. If y'all end up picking them up on Thursday, come back to this video and let me know you cooked up the recipe, bro. For real, for real. These go so hard. Might be one of my favorite Supreme Weeks in a minute. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. So hopefully we could cop. If not, these Uto dunks gotta come home with me soon, bro. Make sure y'all check out this Palomino Jordan 1 review. Those drop this Saturday as well. With all that being said, I guess I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. Peace.